T-minus four minutes. Ground T-tip system setting up for launch. FTS on internal power. S2TVC complete. Pre valves are coming closed. T minus three minutes. FTS is armed. Locks load is ending nominally. Fuel trim valves are in their flight positions. <coughs> LD verified, go for launch. Launch directors, go for launch. Stage two heaters is ending nominally. Rock, verify range go. Range green. Three valves are coming open for one last chill. Helium load is ending nominally. Engine per triso is open. First stage engines are chilled in. Vehicle is in auto idle. T minus one minute. Vehicle is in startup. The flight computer is in control of the vehicle. Stage one and stage two tanks are pressing to their flight pressures. T minus 30 seconds. All propellant tanks are pressing. T minus 20. Fire X is on. T minus 15 seconds. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Stage one. We have lift off at the Falcon 9. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Starting pitch kick. Starting gravity turn. First stage engine at full power, looking good. We have a solid telemetry link, and the power systems are normal. First stage propellant utilization is active. 
Vehicle is on a nominal trajectory. Altitude 5.3 kilometers, velocity 225 meters per second, and downrange distance of 6 tenths of a kilometer. Vehicle is supersonic. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. Propulsion's performing nominally, starting stage 2 engine chill. We have the forward RF link, uh, power systems are not known. Vehicles on a nominal trajectory, 30 kilometers altitude, 1 kilometer per second velocity, and downrange distance 20 kilometers. Dragon power systems are nominal. Vehicles on a nominal trajectory, 53 kilometers altitude, 1.7 kilometers per second velocity, and downrange distance of 51 kilometers. Approaching Miko 1. Miko 1, planned shutdown on engines 1 and 9. First stage impact point past Min Miko. Miko 2. Nominal velocity at Miko. Stage set confirmed. And that ignition confirmed. The dragon, you know, dragon nose cone has been jettisoned. Stage two propulsion systems nominal. Vehicle remains on a nominal trajectory, 176 kilometers altitude, velocity of three kilometers per second. Downrange distance, 320 kilometers. And power systems are nominal, and we still have a solid telemetry link. OSM, this LC, please move to net A. Stage 2 propellant utilization is active. Vehicle remains on a nominal trajectory, 220 kilometers altitude, 3.4 kilometers per second, and downrange distance of 470 kilometers. Second stage propulsion performing as expected.
stage power system is looking good and we have a solid telemetry light. Vehicle remains on a nominal trajectory, 269 kilometers in altitude, velocity of 4 kilometers per second, and a downrange distance of 712 kilometers. All stations MD, step uh, procedure 7.100 complete, we're on st uh, procedure 7.101. And back in stage two performance is good. Vehicle remains on a nominal tra trajectory, 300 kilometers in altitude, velocity of 5 kilometers per second, and downrange distance of 1,000 kilometers. IMU sensor remains healthy, and GPS lock is verified. And we are picking up data from New Hampshire. Equals internal guidance. Eagles pass through the European gate. Roughly 30 seconds to Dragon 7. And that shutdown confirmed. Dragon Falcon 9 and Dragon are in orbit. Dragon is in separation. All stations continue on your procedure. Apogee 346 kilometers, Perigee 297 kilometers. Inclination 51.66 degrees. Cameras forward. Dragon set. Start a payload settling to play. Dragon is now free flying in orbit around the Earth. We are very excited. If we maintain video coverage, we hope to see the deployment of the solar arrays. Uh, if we lose video, uh, everything is likely still operating nominally. Uh, we just have to limit our signal. Uh, we have about a minute before the uh, fairings that house the solar arrays are going to jettison, and that's going to automatically trigger their deployment. Um, Right now, the Dragon's propellant system is priming itself, and the thrusters are going to fire, and that will... Uh-oh. 
Hope we can hold signal here. Boy, well, we have just about 40 seconds to wait for this. Let's see if we can't hold our signal and watch these solar rays deploy. Solar array deploy attitude. Converge rate go thruster firings. Attitude looks good. Dragon is in array deploy. Props is phenomenal. Dragon solar array deployment. Is it AOS? Solar array deployment. <laughs> Have well, we can see the solar rays deploying. This is a great moment. Of course, this is just the first step of a very complex mission. Our global. Uh, but from all accounts, we have Dragon orbiting the Earth with the solar rays deployed. We have a, a couple days worth of really difficult challenges before we get to the station. But there's both, both solar as I deployed. Dragon is performing nominally, and we are looking forward to a great mission here to the International Space Station. Hopefully, you become the first private company uh, to service our international community at the space station. As expected, Dragon is just about at the limit of the Newfoundland ground station. Uh, we're probably going to lose video shortly, but right now, Dragon is still communicating with Mission Control here in Hawthorne, California, and everything looks great. It continues to circle the globe. You can hear the audience here. Everyone in the space station, about 1,800 plus people, are all working really hard uh, and we're on our way to a great mission. Uh, we still have. We still have three and a half days, a lot of test maneuvers before we get to the station. So stay in touch with us on SpaceX.com and Twitter and continue to cheer us on. Today, this is the third successful flight of Falcon 9, the second time we've put Dragon safely into orbit. This is so awesome. Um, we definitely hope to continue the success over the next two weeks where we are making progress to the space station, and I feel pretty good that we are going to be the first <laughs> private company to ever visit the International Space Station. This is so exciting. Um, please be sure to stay tuned to SpaceX.com and Facebook and Twitter and all those things. There's all kinds of great tweets right now. And, uh, yeah, just please. Stay up to date with what's going on. And we want to extend a special thanks to NASA for their teamwork and support.